Hey, little bugs, this is Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by your, my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Uh, choo -choo -choo -choo. Um, hold up. Okay, there you go. Um, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, is nothing to lose. It's everything to gain. I know I've seen that on the post that I had. Um, I was looking for uh, some thumbnails. And um, it was just like... Uh, it was like nothing to lose me, everything to gain. I was like, that is pretty tight. I like that. And it was just like, uh, y'all, I'm sorry about that. You know what I'm saying? I keep picking in my face. It's like, um, this is the first time in a while I've actually had my natural hair out. And it's just like my curls keep hitting me in my face and it keeps tickling my face. Um, it, it's just like when they, if you ever heard that saying, it's like you got to be careful of people that don't have nothing to lose because they have no problem with making you lose it too. And it's just like when you feel like, you don't lost everything in the world. If you you lost so many different things, so so many different people that was important to you, then it's just like you know, even though you lost that, you can still there's so much more you can still gain. You know, if you it, it's just like we have to remind ourselves in certain times where if God takes something out of our lives, you know he's going to replace it with better. And you have to be able to understand that, you know, um if there's different things that's being taken out, it all has a circle of life um of what's going on into your life you know it's just like I, I look at everything that i've gone through and it's just like i felt like i lost everything there was no reason for living ain't no reason to be existing and it's just like you know it, it was just so many different things where i started feeling in that, that I, I was starting to waddle in my own self-pity and then it got to that point where i'm i get aggressive Again, you know, if I can get aggressive with other people, I can get aggressive with myself. And it was just like, you know, it, you, you you lost so much into your life. There, there is so much more you can gain. There will be different things that you, you know, you, it makes you, when you've gone through hardship after hardship, it will make you either look at life like there's nothing that can be good out of this or you can allow yourself to say I got so much power I can bring out of this. And this, this is going to be, this is going to be that, that that game changer for me and for me to be able to do that i had to lose a lot of different things to be telling me there was so much more in my life that i can truly gain and um you know uh going through all those different things into my life where it was showing me you know um you got so much to gain within that you know a lot of times you don't realize you go through you know situations into your life where um it allows you to, you know, to manifest. It allows you to grow. It allows you to be, you know, you can build on top of something. It's just like, you know, a building got demolished. They they clearing it out. And then it's just like, that's what, what's going on with your life. It's just like, you know, things just don't hit rock bottom. Now it's just like, now things were built off of lies. It's built off of hurt. It's built off of illusions. Uh, doubt, you know, anything that was negative that was, it, it was going to weaken your foundation. And for that to happen, you had to be able to go through the rough of the worst, rough of the worst, um, to say. And then when you're going through all these different things, it's helping you build something very solid. It's helping you, you know, being able to see the structure of where your strength can really go through you know if you can put your your energy and things and people that wasn't really reciprocating wasn't really feeling you not really understanding your worth understanding you know your presence or took that for granted this is at that time it is like now it's time for you to be able to go through this within yourself to build out on, on yourself you know and being able to do that you have a light within you you have to recognize it's there it's really there and you're finding that through the moments of struggle you're going through the moments of withdrawal or you're going through the moments of uh self second guessing you're going through the moments of, of of doubt uncertainty and these are the different things that goes on into your life either you can allow 
things that has taken place into your life let you take control of that. Uh, let that 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 situation that was only supposed to be for that moment. You know, you you're your own plot twist. You're your own game changer. You know, you're, you're the author to your your story every single day, and every every day starts a new page. You know, and you can allow yourself to still be in that same mind frame as you did yesterday, the same vibe you were in yesterday or even last week. Or you can allow yourself to see the things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis was a revelation of something that was teaching you. You can take control of better. You know, we don't have control of our lives, but we can have control about what we decide to do with it. You know, you know, and it, it can be those different things. And it's just like, you, there'll be days where the universe knows it, it's, it's not going to be a good day for you. There will be different days that, you know, you feel you don't, you don't be motivated. You can be sad. You can be depressed. There will be so many different things that's going on in your life where that ego and fear wants you to stay focused on that. Or you can use that, that fear to fuel yourself like, you see what this happened to me? Or whatever. You see this thing's going through? Never again. Never again. Because it's showing me I can gain so much from that. Regardless. You know. It, it'll be different times and maybe people didn't believe in you or they seen that in you and they want to place that doubt in you, you know, and then it'll be just like, okay, I, I ain't got to prove this to you, even though you don't really have nothing to prove to them, but you're proving this to yourself. You know, you can give up. That's, that's what the devil wants you to do. He's hoping you would give up, you know, and we don't destroy your life. It ain't nothing else you can do from that. He, that's what he wants you to think. That's what you, he wants you to embed that into your mind. But then it's just like the God that we have in this, this world, you know, it, he a lot of times he'll be placing cruelty on you to be kind. He'll have you in some kind of anger just to show you love. He'll show you some kind of hate just to be able to show you love. And those are the different things. It's like he went through it all the time. And it, it just, you know, it reminds me of... Um, like I was watching a movie the other day with Stigmata. Um, it was called Stigmata. I didn't watch this movie. I don't know how long it was with Nia Long. Uh, Ellen Generous' wife. I can't remember her name. Um, and the other guy who played off of Usual Suspects. And that was my movie right there. And um, Whoopi Goldberg's ex-husband. And um, it was going through that. And it was just like when they say, you know, you going through Stigmata and stuff like that. You got to be, you know... High, highly religious you had to be Catholic you had to be this and this that and it was like Patricia Arquette you know she wasn't she was not I think she was atheist so I didn't believe in God but it was just like the messenger used her to show what, what it, you don't have to always go by the character always go by the book if it, it's your, you're chosen you're chosen and it was like what was the subliminal in that he was like you know he was just trying to take that back you know whatever she had going on it's like I can't give it to you. you you're full of doubt I use you to even say the people that don't even believe in God God believe in them and we're using that girl for that witness to be able to go through that she went through the the, the puncture of the hand she was like well you know um, they show God being punctured by the hands, you know, by crucified, you know, and it was just like, um, um, you know, so I couldn't have it. And, you know, I even show people, you know, you, you get those, you know, your birthmarks and stuff like that. You know, your birthmark shows the different things that you went through in life. And, you know, and I was, there, there'll be different times I had flashbacks and stuff that was going on. So I couldn't believe it. But then I start noticing different scars that I have, you know, on different things that, that, that I've been crucified for. You know, in different different times, there will be certain times I can't even watch certain movies that have anything to do with crucifixion. I can't do it. You know, it like I've been wanting to watch Salem Rich Trials and can't even watch stuff like that. You know, because it remind me of different things that went on back in the day. You know, um, and it'll be different things where you feel like you there is no way you can be able to do this because of so much doubt that has gone on into your life. You don't lost everything. But you don't know you were chosen to make some, make nothing out of something. And then Kevin Federline lined you. <laughs> he was like, what do you mean Kevin Federline? line? Ain't nothing against Kevin Federline. line. I'm just going off of what Cat Williams said. He's like, you know, see how Ke you know Kevin Federline line got with Britney Spears back in the day. And then he didn't have nothing. He was a backup dancer. Next thing you know, you know, he ended up having two kids by Britney Spears. He made some, He made nothing and made it out of something. You don't know how to just use him because it was like Cat Williams just came up in my head. You know, he's like made something out of, you know, made nothing out of something. I was like, ain't no offense against Britney Spears or Kevin Fairline. But it's like, you know, 
life just kept following you. You had nothing. And you built off of that. You can build off of that. And create something so big. You know, and a lot of times, you you know, and I say that a lot, but it's true. A lot of times you're hated because you, you can do so much with little you have. And you become hated by that. And you try to understand why do people hate me? Why do they go out the way to hurt me? Why do they do that? Because you, you hold power and they don't want you to recognize that within yourself. A lot of times you go through different things in a life and God will have you in that moment, in a moment of stillness. And it's just telling you, be quiet because I'm trying to teach you something. And it'll be just like, I I'm trying here. You know, I got this going on. I got that going on. And it it's just not working. It's like, but are you believing in what I'm teaching you? Are you understanding what I'm wanting you to know? You know, you have the power in that. Your enemies are investing in you to not believe in that. But you don't realize I sent them enemies towards you for you to understand what they don't want what what they don't don't want you to uncover and it's right there you got so much to gain even though it it could have been snatched away from you whether it could have been what well, was well, all him you know but it was just different ways he learned to do it. It'll be the devil once it can make you feel like the devil don't God don't want you to have nothing. He lies to you. He does this and this and that. No he the whole lie. Devil will lead you out to pasture and not worry about it and leave you there. It'll be just like a job. You can work your butt off for that daggone job. And you like, I got to go to work. I got to go to this. But I'm sick and this and this and that. And they always tell you, you better take care of your health. Because something might happen to you. Do you realize something might happen to you? And they'll have somebody help your job before the end of the week. And I had it happen. I done seen it. You know, I had to see it. It was like, God rest his soul. My, my um, boss, Mr. Ken, he was so sweet. And the last time we seen him, it was like, he went through cancer. And he was telling me right before he left. He said, I got to take an early retirement. And I already knew something was off of him. You know, he was a very sweet person. And you used to always talk to him. And, you know, it would be a different a picture. I'll always pop up, like, on the screen saver that I got when my phone's charging or my laptop's charging. And I'll see him. And it'll bring tears to my eyes because I remember him. And he's like, this is not a goodbye. This is, you know, I'll see you soon. And I knew when I seen him that last time, that was going to be the last time I seen him. And it will be different times. I remember a certain sayings he, he brought to me. And he would talk to me. He's like, you, you're very bright. You know, he's like, you know, you, you, you don't have a job. He said, you got a job. You, you know, you overqualified for it. You know that? No, I was just like, what you talking about, Mr. Ken? He said, you got a job that you are, uh, you are overqualified for. It's just the way you speak, the way you carry yourself. You know, I like that. He's like, I like that. Because he's, he's like, you, you can, he said, if I had a position for it, I guarantee you, you would feel it. <laughs> just because the fact is, I, he said, I see that within you. And it's just the way you carry yourself. And he said, and I see a lot of people don't like that about you. And it was just like, I said, why is it always those type of ones that end up, you know, leaving before it's time for it? Or you feel like it's not time or it's just those type of people we really need in our lives. And even though they're gone, they're still there. They'll still remind you that because it'll be a certain time I'll go through stuff and Mr. Ken will pop up and I'll start having tears in my eyes and I'll tell him thank you. You know, and he'll remind me of the different things that has popped up into my lives. We we all go through things that can really, you know, put us on that back seat and make us put our whole life on the back burner. And God's like, this is not why I had you sitting around for. Just because other people are okay with being, that let them be. But you cannot. You are not existing. You existed for now, you know, for so long into your life. Now I want you to experience to live. You know, a lot of times we take life for granted. We take life for granted. And um, it's just like people, there'll be different people that are sitting here in these in, in these hospital rooms or in these hospice or they're on their, you know, on their last leg. And there'll be so many different things they wish they would have did. Or there'll be different people that are living out their life and knowing they only got a certain amount and they're living it to the fullest. And it's just like we have to have, it, does it take something like that for us to really live? It shouldn't be. Because it's just like there's some people. Is Even when I used to I work at rest care uh, with different people. Where I um, used to deal with a lot of people on assisted living. 
And it'll be a lot of times where they said I regret on a lot of times I didn't live my life because it was I was always living in the past. I was always living through pain. I was living through hurt and never really allowed myself to really live life. And then when I felt about it now, I can't move like I used to. And that got them into depression. I was just like, dang, you know, and I had to remind myself of that. There'll be so many different things that I felt like it was just so unfair. And it's just like life is not going to be fair sometimes. Life is life. You know, it, it can be very cutthroat. It can be very cruel. But this is where your your purpose is going to serve that. It's like life don't always got to be that way. Life is not going to continue to be that way. You know, because you're seeing a lot of changes that's going on in the world. You know, a lot of hell raising is coming in. Because it's like the devil knows that God is up to something. God is up to something that's going to be that show up and show out type situation. So that's the reason why the devil be working. He stay busy. You know, and it'll be that saying like, ooh, the devil stay busy. And then sometimes when I'll be looking at some folks, it's like, stop giving them stuff to do. <laughs> stop giving them stuff to do. Even I got to tell myself that when I get into that vibration, stop giving that dude something to do. Kick rocks. Tell him he a whole lie. And then some. I got this. God got this. Bye. Be ready to give him the finger. <laughs> you know, in the middle. It, and just going about the business. And this is at that time where they're telling you, you got so much to gain. Regardless on what you lost, there's so much to gain. If I took it out, I meant that, meant that it was going to be replaced with something else. You have to be able to understand that. And, you know, and like I said, I love doing my videos. It's so therapeutic to me. Because there will be different times I'll be going through something not realizing when I'm projecting it towards y'all. I'm projecting it back towards myself. And I keep it very real. I tell y'all real quick, I'm very transparent. You know, it, it, it can be loved, it can be hated at the same time, but hey, it's still there. You're going to listen to it. And it's just going to be out there. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Christine Flaherty. Much love to you, sis. And Carl Flu Fuquet. Much love to you as well. And I'll talk to you. Well, you'll talk to me on my next video or you'll listen to me on my next video. And much love to you. Peace.